Surely you've seen heading tags on the internet a thousand times by now. Heading 1, 2, 3, and so on. If you use a content management system like WordPress, then you would know these heading tags as h1, h2, h3, through h6. These tags can be found and accessed in the content editor. Now these heading tags might not seem important whatsoever, but they are. Not only for search engine crawlers, but also for your site visitors. Why should you use them? The most important function of these heading tags is to help you structure the content. By considering these heading tags, search engine crawlers are better able to interpret your content in a much more accurate way. They also interpret if a heading belongs to a certain section or segment of your blog post, for instance. Furthermore, it is a recommended SEO practice in general. Without proper heading tags, you will find it difficult to get higher search engine rankings for your preferred and targeted keywords. For a deeper dive into headings 1 and 2 specifically, and how to optimize them, we've got a video on that alone. But for now, let's stay zoomed out here on the general picture and quickly look at how to fix any general heading tag errors on your website. Let's start from the beginning, the definitions of heading tags. The W3 Schools defines them as tags used to define HTM headings, with H1 being the most important heading, down to H6, which is the least important heading. On the other hand, Dummies.com explains this in a more comprehensive way. Heading tags are part of the HTML code for a web page defined with H1 to H6 tags. The H1 tag defines the most important heading on the page, usually the largest or boldest too, whereas H6 indicates the lowest level heading. You want to avoid thinking of headings as simply formatting for your pages. Headings carry a lot of weight with search engines because they are for categorization, not cosmetics. The last two sentences here are very important. It is that approach to your heading tags that define the overall effectiveness of your web page's search engine optimization. Apart from this, there are a few more things that you need to know about heading tags. It is important to understand the role of keyword usage and optimization in heading tags. Search engine crawlers read these headings to understand what a web page is about. They take the heading tags into account to learn about the topic of a web page. Based on that understanding and knowledge, search engines then rank your web page for the keywords you're targeting. Ideally, the main keyword of your page, which would also be the primary topic of your discussion, should be included in the H1 tag. And as you can recall, the H1 tag is the most important and heavily emphasized heading tag of all. Then, for any subheading that comes after the main H1 heading tag, you will be using the H2 tags. These are also very important. A common practice is to use only one H1 tag on a web page. However, you will find plenty of H2 tags on a single web page. Just bear in mind that all the H2 tags should complement the main heading, the H1 tag. So you can consider the H2 heading tags as subheadings that complement the main heading of a page. Now let's discuss the frequency of using the H1 tag. As I said, a common practice is to use the H1 tag only once on a web page. Any further headings should be created with H2 or H3 tags, depending on the way your content is structured. Most SEO experts use the following analogy to explain this. The H1 heading tag is just like the main heading of a newspaper. It would be illogical to have multiple main headings, all of equal importance and prominence, in one article. This is why it is often recommended to have only one H1 tag per page. The main heading is, however, supported by multiple subheadings. These subheadings are just like the H2 tag. If there is a need to further categorize the subheading into more subheadings of its own, it is then recommended to use the H3 tag, and so on and so forth. However, I bring this up because the introduction of the latest HTML5 has changed a few things. In the previous iteration, HTML4, only one H1 tag was allowed to be used per web page. As for many businesses and online brands, the most important part of a page is the logo of the business, and they used to wrap it with the H1 tag. As a result, they would start their main headline of the blog post with the H2 tag. However, HTML5 now allows you to have multiple H1 tags on a web page. So technically speaking, you can have multiple sections in a page, and each section can have its own H1 tag. So in other words, you can have the H1 tag for the header and wrap your logo in it. You can have another H1 tag to start your blog post with a proper headline. And you can use another H1 tag if it pleases you to do so, of course. Now, how would search engines rank one H1 tag as more important than the other? They do so by hierarchy. Generally speaking, the H1 tag used in a blog post would always be more important than the H1 tag used in a sidebar, for instance. Now, if you are using a WordPress website, it is really easy to add relevant heading tags in your content. While you're in the text editor, just click on the drop-down menu and add a heading. You will then be presented with all the six heading tag options. Highlight the text, Click on the appropriate option, and let WordPress automatically add the heading tag for you. If you're using the Wix site builder to manage your website, you can add heading texts from the post editor.
Fixing heading tags in Weebly can unfortunately be a little complicated. You will notice that web pages on Weebly are missing the H1 tag. This is because, by default, all Weebly title text is set to H2. As you know by now that the best practice is to wrap the main title of the page in the H1 tag, you will have to do something about it. Here's a simple technique. Identify where you want to insert the H1 tag. Drag and drop the embed code element to that position. With the help of that custom element, wrap the main title of your page in the H1 tag manually, and it would look like this. Also, remember that this tag is the actual way to insert the HTML tag. And you can also use this method in WordPress if you are using the default text editor instead of the WYSIWYG editor. Feel free to check out our other videos so you can keep fine-tuning and getting the most out of your SEO. And click subscribe to stay updated with new tips and tricks to get you to the top of the search engine results pages.